Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and today we are here with another money making guide. This is going to be money making method number five. And if you don't know where we are, we are in Keldegrim. Um, the main requirements you're going to need for this method, 60 smithing is helpful as if you don't have 60 smithing you do have to pay like, like 15k an hour to use the blast furnace. Kind of annoying, but it's not that bad. Um, on top of that, I think you do need 50k an hour, maybe. I think it's 50. We'll check as the guide goes on. Just stick with me. I think it's 50k an hour to actually have to like pay the NPC. It's kind of a gold sink, and you have to pay the NPCs to constantly like work the machine for you. Because before this, you used to have clans that would work it for you, and you'd pretty much have to pay them the same. So Jagex is like, fuck the clans. Like, let's just make all this gold just go out of the game. Cool, cool idea by them, I guess. So works out. Um. But yeah, so, you're going to need 60 smithing, and some weight reduction gear. This is the best I could scrap. I don't have any fucking graceful. Actually, I do. I have a cape and boots of graceful, which means I'm fucking dumb. But, it is what it is. So, you're going to want some weight reducing gear. You're going to want at least 30 smithing is the necessity for this guide. And a coal bag would be really helpful. Because basically, um... You know, you're just gonna fucking need to run coal and iron ore because what we're gonna be fucking doing is steel bars, damn it. And if you can run coal and iron ore in one trip, you can make like 27 a trip and you can just keep fucking running that shit. Top of that, you're probably gonna want some stamina potions, but you know, if you wanna walk it, you can do you, but I think stamina potions are probably more GP efficient per hour, so check that out. If you guys don't have the coal bag, you're probably gonna be making about 55% of what I make in this episode, so. Just, you know, you can still do it. It's still good money, but just know that going forward. So basically what you're going to want to do, find your way to Keldegrim. You can go there if you have... Okay, also, uh, I feel like it doesn't need to be said, but you do have to have the giant dwarf quest done. It's a pretty early quest. Just get that shit out of the way. Easy quest points. Um, you can get here by running north of Camelot and go about to the where the east side rock crabs are. You know, the fucking east side rock cribs. <laughs> east side rock cribs. Cribs. Um... Anyways, yeah, you can go to the east side of Rock Crabs, go over there, or you can travel through the Grand Exchange. I don't give a fuck how you get here. So, you're going to want to open these fucking doors. You're on the east side also of Keldrum, so it is cool. And go down the stairs. You're going to want to go to Blast Furnace World and see all these people. That's how you'll know when you're there. Um, go ahead and go to your bank. And as you can see, I have a ton of iron ore and a ton of coal, so we're going to do probably about a thousand of these and see how long it takes me and how much money I make. So, yeah. <coughs> Obviously, so as you can see, you're going to want to deposit your coins over here in the coffer, and from what it looks like, they just diminish as time goes on. So, the longer you're here, the more you'll have to use, and, uh, yeah. Alright, so what you're going to want to do, just follow what I'm saying right now. So, you're going to want to be stamina potted pretty much all the time. Whenever you do inventories, just take out one bucket of water, take out all the coal you can, fill your coal bag, go back, get your iron ore, then run over here up onto the stairwell, or the little ramp, I guess. Then once you're up here, go ahead and put ore on a conveyor belt, and then just press 1, empty your coal bag, and just don't be a fuck like me, and then press 1 again, and then you're good to go. So then go ahead and throw your water on the bar dispenser, and grab the bars. There you go, 26 steel bars, and we're back off. And then just repeat this as long as you please. I'm probably about to do 1,000, see how many or how long it takes me, and then we'll go from there. Alright, so here we are ending off the video. As far as supplies go, I would say I spent... I mean, while my coffer does say that I was in there for 20 minutes, I was kind of, like, getting everything ready to go. Um, also, on top of that, I probably spent maybe 10 to 15k in stamina potions. I, mean, I, I have no clue how much they are. I mean, probably, yeah, around 15k on stamina potions, so. In total, you can subtract 25k minus whatever I'm about to get, so... As you guys can see here, we're going to throw in 831 coal and 831 iron ore, which is what I use. That cost me in total, it was actually lower, so 240 is probably around what you're looking at. So 240 for that, and then if we go back, 831 steel bars is 430. So 430 minus 240 is 190k per hour, and then you subtract, I guess, the 25k, so you're looking then at about... 170k ish per hour personally i didn't do as many bars as i believe some people can do from what i've been seeing i wasn't using i wasn't using uh ahk scripts or anything like that so this was purely by hand so this is what the average person can get without doing anything like 
too out there. I would imagine that if you do like AHK scripts and stuff, you could probably get closer to around 1K steel bars per hour. I also had to wait a lot for the machines. I don't know if that's a thing that happens in every world, but I feel as if it probably wouldn't be or else it'd be a bigger thing that people would complain about. But in my estimated opinion, you could probably make more around 1K bars per hour, which would hop this up to around 200K-ish per hour or 200k per 15 minutes so realistically I made about 800 to 900k per hour um, depending on prices I'm sure you can make more or less there was a guide recently put out by Autumn Elegy that kind of went over the whole blast furnace thing so that may have contributed to prices someone in my stream yesterday said that they were making 1.4 mil don't know how they were doing that but nonetheless I was making 800 900 K it's a really really good money making method for really low levels and it I mean realistically oh XP lamp while I'm doing a video weird bro like Illuminati confirmed um, but yeah anyways that'll be it for me today I hope you guys enjoyed it was kind of it was kind of something I like most money making methods that I do I've done them before so I'm pretty experienced on what they are however this one little different so if you guys enjoyed feel free to hit that like button um, if you guys are watching this within the first few hours of it being released I'm more than likely streaming so head on over to that if you guys want to see when I go live in the future while I'm streaming feel free to hit the follow um, you can also do that for my Twitter both links are down in the description um, if you guys like the video though, feel free to hit the like button. If you have anything I can improve upon, tell me about it down below. Always helpful. If you guys want to see what's going on with the channel in the future, hit that sub button. And nonetheless, hope you guys have a wonderful day and peace. I'm the real fucking XP lamp, bitch. Oh, fuck! I tried to click him. I wanted the link.